my new eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, <laughs> bye bye, pen the balloon. Pen hard balloon. They lasted two weeks. And so March started. It was a strange month. We had lots of great days with beautiful spring weather. Trees were blooming, yet some day could still be really cold. And for a good half of March, we were under the weather and had a low mood, especially Tina, who even started running again to get better. Prasic, you are on top of things. <laughs> Beginning of March, we spent the weekend at my parents' place. As the weather was great, we went for a walk there. And on the field next to their house, we found lots of breathtaking blooming trees. It was amazing and what a smell. As Easter was slowly coming, my mother had put out all her Easter decoration. Throughout March, we also kept doing our daily walks along the canal. On nicer days, we were doing longer walks to change our mind and take a break from working and being at home. Tina finally found what food swans are looking for, and it is some small plants that grow on the side of the canal, but they are not easy to find. But yes, I found what you like! Yay! Go have a feast! Go! Yes, I'm giving you! Ah, for you, okay, I will give you, so she doesn't take for you. Yo! <laughs> Did you see the man? What he's doing? Here. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be nice. Look at you. Be nice. <laughs> yeah, my girl. This is what you like. Now I know. Here. <laughs> Guy. You gotta be a bit. And you girl, you go. Maybe you are pregnant, you need more food. Here. I would give you like nicely, but I don't know. I don't know if you are gonna pick me. Easy, easy. Oh, finally I'm feeding you. I mean, oh boy, I found what you like. A real friend, aren't we? Oh yes, we are. Finally. Oh, he, look, he's a bit. Uh, what happened? Look, look. He went in, into attack mode. Uh -huh. To the other swans there. No? What? Mm -hmm. In March, a couple of swans was also hanging around the canal part near our building. It was so cool to be able to see them every day.
There were also a couple of occasions where we went to Strasbourg city center. And with such a weather, going there biking felt so great. The magnolias from Republic Square were slowly blooming. The streets of Strasbourg were as beautiful as always. And we tried a new Indian restaurant with my parents where the food was delicious. A week later, middle of March, we headed back to the center. We the so so weather this time and tried a new vegan and bio pizzeria with our friends. The food was delicious and the place super cozy. We loved it. That day, we also went to see some of the wonders of Strasbourg. The butthole on the cathedral. The old mortar shell in a building. And the medieval fresco hidden in a store. And the fully bloomed magnolia that were breathtaking then. Toward the end of March, we also went to the Orangery Park in Strasbourg. On our way there, we saw Papa Swan, guarding his nest, and on the way back, Mama Swan, on her nest. It's almost the same spot as where they were last year, but this time they only have one egg. Once in Orangery, we simply strolled around looking for the blossom, flowers and animals. Tina, she biked in the rain. Mm. You didn't break anything? How is the bike? Uh, you need to repair it. One night, Tina went out and she fell from her bike on her way back along the canal as it was really wet. So 
the next weekend we went for the first time to clean our bike Wow, how sexy on that bike when it's that clean. And here is some of the March food. As always, Tina cooked amazing food and delicious meals. Tina's banana cookie. And here is Tina. But today is not a good day. Isn't it? Even though we have such great weather. Is it cold? She also started drinking shikori which is recovery with a bit of coffee. You are stealing my coffee. And of course, we went a few times to restaurant, for a pizza and for our favorite Chinese food in Strasbourg. As I said, March wasn't easy for both of us, and especially for Tina. We never know when it will hit and how long it will last. <laughs> no, so I've been thinking about uh, the next pregnancy and I am afraid actually. I'm, I, I am afraid of not having... Uh, <laughs> the same feeling uh, for the next kid as I had for Poppy. Feeling? Mm -hmm. No. No. I don't know, I'm super I, 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 got, I was thinking, you know, about Lily the Pop. Maybe you won't have the same during the pregnancy, but... Mm, yeah. Won't know until it happens, so the sooner you better. You know how much you love Poppy and how much you're gonna love next kid? No, I don't know, it's just a fear. And I need to find a nickname. As nice as Lily the Pop is. If it's well, it was Lily Pop, now Lily the no, Pop. No, because it was also Poppy. Poppy Pop, Poppy the Pop. Lily, Lily Pop, Lily the Pop. But as it's going to be a little boy, because that, uh, what do you call it? That lady who predicts your future, she saw three boys, so... One day, I also visited alone the cemetery. Even though for us the cemetery doesn't mean that much, it wasn't easy at all. But I wanted to see if the flowers my mother put a few weeks back were still there. And it was. It's actually then that I realized that all the items next to the memory garden are in fact in memory of our lost one there. When I made the picture of, uh, I ordered a few pictures of Poppy this morning. The same one. Um, different one, yeah, different format and stuff to, to see what's the best and I felt them. Um, so I ordered. Like those? Yeah, like those one, a bit bigger, a bit bigger and so I, I want to, you know, to really see what's the best. To make the frame and everywhere in the house, because we've counted the same picture everywhere. 
I don't know why I have that fixation with that bun. I have a fixation, I need the bun. The word is not fixation, I have an obsession. Obsession with that bun. I don't know, when I'm thinking about that bo the, the bunny, I, I'm seeing poop. I don't know why. You should just stop the animal. Yes, but uh, I don't know. since I saw it in the store. So, yeah, you have that obsession with the bunny. Yeah, but it's... Uh... Because I saw that bunny in the store, I almost cry, I started crying in the store, I mean, I started, I started being emotional. And I don't know, I, every, every day I'm thinking about the bunny. Every single day. When I see little, like, uh, bunny face, I see Poppy's face. Poppy wasn't a bunny. It wasn't a bunny, you see but... my face, you can see Poppy's face, but... Uh... Yours every day. But like, there is one angle here, somewhere, like when, when you look from the top, Poppy didn't have uh, truly your forehead, it's Poppy's. 100%. And my eyes. So, here is the thing about the bunny. One day, we went for lunch with my mother, and we stopped in a store where we saw bunny stuff animals. Not only they were super cute, but somehow they reminded me of Poppy. At that time, I didn't get one. And Tina got a little keychain from my mother. The thing is, not only getting one truly bothered me, that I even lost some sleep for almost a week because of it. In the end, we went back there and get one of those super cute bunny that reminded us of our son. And we named it Cuddly. Cuddly the bunny. I suppose what happened there was more what the bunny represented than what it was. Another thing we realized later is that Poppy would be under the Chinese zodiac <laughs> sign of the rabbit. What a coincidence. So you like him? He's cute. He's mm. cuddly. Mm. That's his name. Yeah. The best decision we <laughs> took so far. Mousse. My chocolate. My coffee. My plasma. And my cousin. And you. <laughs> and slowly March was ending. Easter was around the corner. The store were full of fun Easter decoration. The swans were enjoying the canal. We also went one more time to a group meeting with stillbirth parents and then went for lunch with two couples. It was good being with them, switching from regular topic to stillbirth and so on. We finally finished Poppy's photo book, which was super hard and looking at the book makes us cry every time. We are also now working on the French version of the photo book for my family. And we started preparing for our next adventure traveling to the Maldives and Sri Lanka. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs>